Hi guys, Cliff here. Welcome to part two of the Atom Special Build. Uh, today's video will see the um, fuselage construction finished and tail boom construction finished. I've made a couple of little changes um, inspired by um, something that one of my commenters said in part one. I'm really happy with it, really pleased with that and you'll see as the video rolls on exactly what I've done. But I'm not going to give away too much yet as to why I've done it. Uh, that's still to come part three <laughs> uh, but anyway for part two fuselage tail boom construction and basically the design finished cheers guys uh, just following on from the rotor head design I've what have I done yeah so what I've done I've glued this together and with a piece of two mil carbon down the middle and it's <laughs> incredibly stiff of course but I couldn't shape the top of it without the rotor head anyway um, Malcolm at Cool Winds has uh, very quickly sent me a rotor head so I was just going to have a look at it see what we got make sure there's nothing else in there no thank you Cliff what a nice little nice little message the other thing I ordered from uh, Malcolm was the Delta plate, 0.8 millimeter fiberglass, and the pack of fiberglass parts for this kit saves a lot of fiddly cutting out. But the exciting part is the C30 razor head that's got the ball links on it too that's the very nice so I'll accept the push rod straight into there so that we've got to do a bit of assembly got to do a bit of working out here <laughs> uh yeah okay well that's that works that way obviously the servo but I've got to fix this bit up because obviously it has to turn that way as well uh, so I've got to work out how all that goes together oh no I don't all written down here for me ah there we go the eight millimeter square mast so that's interesting so I know this is six so I'll have to put a little one mil either side just to pack it out to eight mil and then I can cut this down to eight mil in the center excellent good oh i'm really pleased with that that's nice as you can see i haven't uh, actually cut out the formers yet um, i'm going to crack on with that now and i'll see you back later oh -ho. <laughs> a bench full of lovely stuff so what i've done i've just channeled out these two horrible looking servo holes in the back of this piece of ply uh, but the Dremel makes it pretty easy. So I'm going to fix on that one there and that one there. That tidies it up, doesn't it? And no one's any the wiser. I've roughed up the uh, plywood a little bit just to give it a bit of a bite, of course. I'll we'll place that one on there. Give it a little wriggle. Lots of super comments on part one, guys. Thanks for that. A couple of you said you're going to check out the Cool Cool, uh, cool Wins website uh, for bits and pieces, which is great. If I can encourage anyone to build one of these, so much the better. So I'm going to put that now in there. Push it together. So now when I come to fit the uh, mast for real, that's going to be a lovely tight fit. Very clever design, isn't it? Where is my mast? What have you done with your mast, Clifford? Oh, don't call me Clifford, please. I think my mother calls me Clifford. When I've been naughty. Here's the fuselage sides which I glued up yesterday. They've just got a little bit of glue. There we go. So those extra bits are glued on now these angles which set the side for the bit I've just glued so I can't assemble that just yet. All right, sawing it out, just got to cut off the rough edges. Oh, 
not cut off, sand off the rough edges. Okay, give it a little wiggle. Spread the adhesive. An exciting moment, chaps. I'm going to glue, I start gluing. A little hole, six mil square is left at the back for the boom to go in. That slide in there. I'm going to glue that on and also glue in F3, I think it is. So it'll look like that. And then they say fit the boom mast temporarily. And then fit F4, gluing it in. Only up to this point, you tape, pull the taper in afterwards apparently, so we let all this structure dry nice and square first. So I'll do this now and it can dry overnight. It's better. Right, and let that dry guys. Uh, we'll continue with the fun tomorrow. Take care. Just fettled the fit of F1 and F2. So now I'm just epoxying it in. Uh, all right, don't get upside down. Shallow part to the bottom. Let that set. I've used uh, aliphatic on the, just to bend it in and bring that in a little bit. So that's that sorted. I have, I've been very um, frugal with the glue just close to the fit, um, fuselage because I want to be able to pull it out because you have to pull it out and finish it, the boom as you see fit. I should be um, spraying it. So it's time to decide on the colour scheme. And I've got I've got one in mind and then I can bring up, it's heavy, but I've just uh, steamed up a piece of wood just to go around there like that. I'll glue that on and then I can trim it to shape once the glue has set. Um, this part I'm making here isn't part of the plan or the design. I think it was um, Ian from Ian's RC Exploits commented in the part one video that um, he liked the way I was always altering the plans. Well, I don't think there's a modeler out there who hasn't actually altered the plans to his own liking, really. And, and this one's no different for me. So what I'm doing and uh, also, yeah, the other comment that, that triggered this design, this change, was uh, Marco Polo said um, to build a little Nelly, James Bond. Well, I said it's given me an idea where well, you can see from this dashboard <laughs> that it's not going to be the same as the original. The original one had the cockpit, enclosed cockpit going down to the nose. But this one's going to be slightly different. It's going to have an open cockpit like little Nelly did. And Ken Wallace would be proud, proud to know that his design was being butchered. <laughs> OK, so I've rebated the F1 and F2 slightly. I popped in a, found a little bit of hardwood, popped in there so it's holding that nice and tight. So now I can cut the 16th to size, it forms a nice little dash in there, look. I've got a rubber band ready this time. There you go. One at the front. Okay. Now I can start getting it to fit precisely. We'll let that set then, guys, and we've got ourselves a little front end. Uh, Richard called for solid block there to taper in with his cockpit, but I'm changing the design. Okay, we'll let that set. We'll come back to it later. This is dry now, so I'm just cutting. I've cut this side, just eyeballed it in, so it's gone very well. So I'm going to try and do the same on this side. And hope that they look kind of similar. I think they will. Okay. They look 
pretty close to me, so I'm happy with that. I want a bit of a curve going on here. This is where I'm going to, this is another deviation from the plan. I'm hoping I can do this in one go and I can use this piece of wood as a template for the other side. Okay. Because this is going to be an open cockpit. Just clean it up with a little bit of sand in. And we got ourselves a nice open cockpit there, guys. Uh, got the undercarriage block to fit still. That will go on there. Got to drill two holes in there yet. Right, holes drilled. When he's glued into position, I'll drill it down through into the body. Uh, probably a good idea to use epoxy on that. Nice and central. Wipe away. <laughs> okay, right. update time. I've put the base on, sanded, sanded it reasonably round, so that's that done. Uh, tapered up the back edge of that there a bit. So it's sanded, it's looking pretty complete now actually. That's about all the construction I can do on that for the minute. Uh, I've stuck the rudder hinge point on the back because it's twin rudders. It has to hinge. So that's that. Got to drill a hole through there. Drill the holes for the servo. That goes in there like that. So I think you'll agree it's Quite happy with that. I like the open, well, I love the open cockpit actually. A little windshield over the front, of course. Yeah, doesn't even fit on the camera now, look. Gotta go all the way back here. There we go. There we are, guys. We can get it in now. Yeah, fantastic. As usual, I'm really enjoying this build something different very different i mean let's face it i've never built anything this shape before which is what it's all about what i think i'm going to do is to tissue the fuselage and paint it um, in my chosen color scheme which all will be revealed i'm going to cough balsa <coughs> balsa dust excuse me so uh so anyway that's the state of play so far uh the tail plane sits in front on there like that hey yeah pretty good I like it and I need a carol on there when I've worked out exactly where the motor's going I might draw this video to a close here guys I might put a little bit more on if I should draw it to a close right here. Thanks for watching. This is part two. If you want to um, subscribe to make sure you hit um, hit the bell as well to make sure you see part three, which will be linked at the end of this video when I've done it. It's coming along really fast. Oh, forgot to put the boom in. Let's just put that in for visual effect as well. There. Now nah, that looks like an autogyro. Great. Right. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Oh, it's still there. Bye. What am I going to say? Hi, guys, and welcome back to part two of the... Um... See, that's on special yes hi guys and welcome back hi guys cliff here and welcome back <laughs> oh dear you just caught on my bit of string
my zoom control. <laughs> okay, start again. Hi guys, Cliff here, good morning, and welcome back to part two of my Atom special. Let's do it again. Hi guys, Cliff here, welcome back to part two of my Atom special build. Um, in this video, you'll see the fuselage constructed. Um, I've made a couple of little changes uh, to the design, as um, as Ian said in the last comment section. I do like to change things, and I, as Ian said in the last video, I do like to change things a little bit, and I think most builders do actually. Um, also, I've changed things uh, in a way inspired by what Marco Polo said in the last comment section. Um, so, inspired by his comment, I'm going to make a couple of little changes. And, uh, yeah, let's crack on with the build and see how far we get today. Cheers, guys. Oh, I could try it again. Good morning, guys. Cliff here. Uh, in today's video, part two, I'm going to finish the fuselage construction of the Atom Special. I've made a couple of little changes uh, inspired by a couple of the comments in the part one of the video, uh, which I think um, enhance the design. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, just cosmetic changes, really. But, you know, it's nice to... Um, what? It's nice to make things uh, a little bit um, different, isn't it, from the standard design uh, to what you like. So that's that's all to come up in part three, probably. But for day for today, I'm going to 